Former Michigan Representative Justin Amash, the first-ever Palestinian-American congressman, said that several of his relatives were killed when an Israeli airstrike destroyed part of a Greek Orthodox church in Gaza. The relatives of the former representative were sheltering inside the St. Porphyrius Orthodox Church, along with hundreds of displaced Palestinians, when the airstrike happened, News.com has learned. With great sadness, I have now confirmed that several of my relatives, including Viola and Yara pictured here, were killed at St. Porphyrius Orthodox Church in Gaza, where they had been sheltering, when part of the complex was destroyed as the result of an Israeli airstrike, Amash said in a statement on X, formerly Twitter. Give rest, O Lord, to their souls, and may their memories be eternal, Amash's social media statement read. The Palestinian Christian community has endured so much. Our family is hurting badly. May God watch over all Christians in Gaza and all Israelis and Palestinians who are suffering, whatever their religion or creed, he added in a post, sharing a photo of two of his relatives whom he claimed died in the bombing. According to Palestinian officials, at least 500 Muslims and Christians had taken shelter from relentless Israeli bombings in the Greek Orthodox Church. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry said that 16 people were killed in the overnight airstrike, Reuters reported. Video footage taken at the church compound after the incident showed a wounded boy being carried from the rubble in the dark of the night, the outlet further reported. A civil defense worker said that two people on the upper floors had survived, while those on lower floors had been killed and were still in the rubble. It is worth noting that the 2.3 million population of Gaza includes 1,000 Christians, mostly Greek Orthodox, for Reuters. The Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem expresses its strongest condemnation of the Israeli airstrike that has struck its church compound in the city of Gaza, the church said in a statement. Israel, on the other hand, has claimed that the church was not the intended target of the airstrike and that they were aiming at a militant command center. Earlier today, Israel Defense Forces, fighter jets struck the command and control center belonging to a Hamas terrorist, involved in the launching of rockets and mortars toward Israel. The command and control center was used to carry out attacks against Israel and contain terrorist infrastructure belonging to the Hamas terrorist organization, a statement from the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, read. As a result of the IDF strike, a wall of a church in the area was damaged. We are aware of reports on casualties. The incident is under review, the IDF statement further read, adding that Hamas intentionally uses residents of the Gaza Strip as human shields, the New York Post reported. Witnesses, however, have said that the damage done inside the church was extensive, as reported by Reuters. This shows that the targets of the Israeli occupation are the unarmed people, children, women, and the elderly, the Palestinian Church's Council, appointed by President Mahmoud Abbas, said in a statement. Through all of this, there seems to be a sliver of hope for Gaza as the first convoy of trucks carrying humanitarian aid rolled into the area on Saturday, October 21. Witnesses have said that the trucks crossed the Rafah border crossing and proceeded into Gaza's southern area including the major towns of Rafah and Khan Yunus, Reuters reported. They also noted that these towns are sheltering many of those who have been displaced by the relentless airstrikes by Israel on the region.